What is roof ventilation and why is it important? Roof ventilation is one of the most important elements of a roofing project. If your roof isn't ventilated properly, it can lead to damages costing you hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars. And surprisingly, this is a really common problem between most homeowners. So today we're going to talk about the different types of ventilation and why it's important. My name is Nelson from WISA and we're your roofing specialists. Ventilation is air cycling from the outside into the attic and back through the top of the roof. This allows for the attic to release moisture and heat. And now the attic allows air in through the soffit vents at the bottom of the eaves and expels it from the top of the ridge vent. And this helps prevent mold, condensation, and other issues that occur in the roof. Condensation and heat can cause the roof deck to warp or to buckle over time. And that can result in thousands of dollars in replacing those. So what are the different types of ventilations my roof can have? Now there's a lot of different types of ventilation systems, but to keep things simple, we're going to cover the four most common options. The first one is box vents. Although box vents are used to vent the roof, they're not the most efficient. Box vents create small areas in the attic that are not reached by the ventilation. They can also be called static vents. Now the second one is turbine. Now those are also not as efficient when it comes to venting a roof. Not only is it very inefficient, but it also isn't aesthetically appealing. Turbines are really large that take up a lot of space on the roof, and it doesn't produce a continuous airflow through the attic. Now the third one is an attic vent. Attic vents are not ideal to properly venting in an attic. Not only is there a lot of wiring, but it also doesn't provide a continuous airflow ventilation. Attic vents usually turn on when the air reaches a certain temperature, so that's why it's not really that great. Now the fourth one are soffit and ridge vents. At the moment, the most efficient way to ventilate your roof is using the soffit and the ridge vent. These are holes and gaps in the soffits and the ridge that allow continuous airflow. This method allows for the air to vent continuously no matter what the temperature is, and it helps you stay cooler in the summer and allows the entire roof to remain the same temperature in the winter, which helps with ice dams. When it comes to installing these different forms of ventilation, please make sure that your roofer is certified by the manufacturer. Here are some potential problems that can happen if your roofer isn't certified and isn't sure what he's doing. Covering the soffit vents with insulation. This makes the exhaust work harder to vent the intake air. Make sure that the roofer does not cover the soffit vents with insulation. Another one is painting over the soffit vents. A common mistake made by homeowners is painting over the soffit vents and this covers the intake, as mentioned before, and it doesn't allow continuous airflow from the soffit to the ridge. Not cutting a sufficient size hole for your soffit vents. Some roofers install soffit vents without creating the proper opening in the attic. Never install more than one exhaust system on the roof. When more than one exhaust system is installed, the stronger exhaust system pulls from the weaker one. Now then that weaker one becomes the intake. It's almost like drinking from a straw. There's two points, but if you poke a hole in the straw, you're going to be sucking in more air than you would be water or liquid. I hope that helped you guys out. Now you know a little bit about ventilation and what to look for when you're getting your roof done.